Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this in the morning. Fifteen minutes to change our lives. Start off by giving tzedakah. Good day, tzedakah. Shmakar tzedakah. And we're gonna continue davening for the hostages. And we're gonna focus on today on Noah Bat Mali. Mitz Hashem, healthy and safe. And Mitz Hashem, Mitz Hashem, all hostages should come back healthy and safe. And Israel should have true peace and true proper peace, not not these things that they're on discussion on the table, but things that actually bring about security and safety that people can live in a relaxed, calm, calmness. And so too with us, in our own lives, we should be relaxed and calm, especially in other, we should be very joyous and only recognize only reasons to be happy. Especially we get up and we have to learn chassidus. Okay. Well, we're on the bottom of page 289. And basically we're having this whole discussion really elaborating and getting into this whole process of how it all works of what we what we get throughout the year. That starts in Rishon Yom Kippur and ends off daily. And so then we had a question that was opinions Rav Yesi and Rav Nason that basically they're saying it's every day, every hour get judged. And so if it's every day and every hour, so what's happening in Rosh Hashanah Kippur? Seemingly every moment is in Rosh Hashanah Kippur. And we said, of course, they believe in Rosh Hashanah Kippur. What's going on over here? And they're saying, ultimately, that just because it's said to you in Rosh Hashanah Kippur, how much you're going to have, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to access it. It's like someone says to you, I'm going to give you uh, whatever. I'm going to give you something, but you have to go get it from them. One thing they say they're going to give it to you. The other thing is actually going to get it. And it could be that the time you need to get it, they're not going to be available. It's a whole, that's a whole, you know, it's only half of it what's being set on Rishon Kippur. The other half is sort of the most important part of it is that getting it when you need it. And that comes every day in every moment based off what we're doing. But I didn't know I Kippur who... And the judgment of Shalim Kippur is, is the decree of what we're going to get. And every single person in particular, what they're going to get. And specifically, how much of the chesed we're going to get that's set for us. And this is the main judgment that's happening. And on this judgment, everything's dependent. Because according to the, the, the plentifulness of the chesed is how it's going to be the bracha. If during Rosh Hashanah Kippur we only get set a very little bit of amount of chesed, as we explained before, in my new test parak base, gasher chesed ribui. If we set aside a lot, if we manage to get a lot of chesed, so then it could come out in Bane Chaim Zayn, in everything, in all the three categories that everything sort of comes under. Well, if I'm in Bev and sometimes it's not possible for whatever reason, Hashem is decreed that it's not going to work that way. Only two of them, only one of them. Now, of course, Hashem knows what's best. Hashem knows how much, which one where. But we're meant to do our job. And we're meant to do our parts. You know, Hashem's going to give us Parnassah. And it's said how much Parnassah we can make one cent more than what has been decreed for us. But that doesn't mean we don't do anything. We have to do the Ishtadlus, do the efforts, go to work, you know, open up the business, do the Kaili part. But it's all coming from the Ebrishta. It's all Hashem's doing. And this is what we're saying here. That, of course, Hashem's going to give us what we need, but we have to do our efforts in it. And sometimes Hashem's decided that we're only meant to have two. And sometimes, so we have to put in the effort to make sure to get the right two. And things like this. Even if it's going to be that we're going to get in all three of B'nai Chaim and all the good things that we need. Yesh there's also, also a question. We might get all three, but we might get only a little bit of all three. Whereas we might be getting two and having a lot of those two. And for every person, it could be different requirements. 
וזה תלוי בכלולוס, קצבס. החסד, and this is dependent on the general decree of the chesed, ראש השנה ויום כיפורים, that happens on ראש השנה ויום כיפורים. לכל העולם בכלל, to the whole world, a love בפרט, and specifically to us. אם רבו יבחולו, if it's a lot, או חס ושלום נאט. And so what we're seeing here, is on ראש השנה ויום כיפורים, that's why, on ראש השנה the world, Uh, uh, in, in, especially in, in the Chabad world, Rosh Hashanah was a very, it's, it's sort of, it's more strict than Yom Kippur. Why? Because Rosh Hashanah is being said how much we're going to get of all this. In Yom Kippur, it's sort of defined more. But the main beginning of it is Rosh Hashanah. Kran Hashem is king. We're, we're getting set for the year how it's going to be, how much, you know, how much is in the storehouse. You know, as much as we want to daven during the year, so to speak, according to what we're saying, as much as we want to daven, let's say you have an amazing Davening, you're done with the right things. But if it's empty, it's empty. If you don't have anything in the star house, you're not going to get that much. Whereas you need to have both. You need to have an, a lot in the star house. And then when you daven and, and you ask for your needs and you do the right things, there's from what to gather, to gather from. It's like, and, and you could use it in many ways, but like in Israel, they have... And one of the things that they've mechadish, like a novelties that they've managed to accomplish, is being able to to grow like food, plant, fruit, vegetables, and stuff like that in 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 harsh environments. And it's called a, a drip irrigation system, which basically it's it has like a hose with little little holes, and so it drips little drops into exactly what's needed. See, so it's quality versus quantity. So even though it could be that Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur wasn't that good, but if, if we do our job properly, so those drips can make a very big difference. You know, drips come in the right place. And so really you want both. You want to have plentiful of water and you want to have these drips. I mean, come back, nevertheless, even though we're talking about the Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, how much we're getting, There's another judgment specifically for every day. What's going to come out of this chesed? For example, If there's set based on Rosh Hashanah Kippur comes today and we've been and it's been decreed that today We're going to have the two, two of the three. So the question is, is it based on me? In Bane, the Chaye, is it going to be with our children and our Chaye and our health? We're going to have an energized day, full day. Our kids are going to be nice and healthy and full of energy. Oh, is it going to be we make a lot of money today? The Chaye, and it could be that we're also works in our health. Okay, Daymer. Okay, motion is by the L, as similarly as like, like I explained before, like the story of the Baal Shantav, that the guy was only decreed two out of three, and one of them was being wealthy, and it was taking away from being able to have kids. And that's how it was set for him. And the Baal Shantav was able to daven for him to take away the, the, the money, and it would go towards the kids. Why is it that way? That he couldn't have three? We're not sure. But but we know if Hashem is doing it, it must be good. Not always we can see it. But Hashem knows what He's doing. We know that much. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves. Not sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes even if it is possible to have all the three, And even if it is decreed that we can have all three today, the question is, are we going to get all three to come out in the physical? Is it going to stay spiritual? Or is it going to be just put aside Leilam Haba? And they all can be good. But, but I think if anything we've learned from Chabad Chassidus, we want to come down here. Because Dir V'tachtainim needs to be happening over here. So the more we can have over here, the more we can make a Dir V'tachtainim And that's the echo. Me'ach ha'chesed sh'niktah b'rish ha'shana e'na nikar ha'dayin ma'ashim imenu ha'ashpa ba'asiyah 
being that what was decreed on Rosh Hashanah and Kippur doesn't actually mean, in a certain sense, doesn't mean anything for now in our physical world. Because at that point, there's no description of it. It's not that on Rosh Hashanah Kippur, it's like, okay, on uh, March the 5th, on Chav Dalad, Adar um, Rishon, you're going to make $10,000. Or you're going to have an amazing day. Your kids are going to be healthy. You're all going to be healthy. You're going to have make good choices. Your Yitzhahara is going to be weaker. And we're going to make sure your Yitzhahara is stronger. That is, that's not how it works. That's what's happening with Shalom Kippur. It's all dependent on the base in above. This is according to our actions on today. So what I do today, the way I wake up, the way I start my day, and things like this, it has the effect. And so too, and that is the judgment that's coming into the Bria, the world of Bria, from Atzillus to Bria. And that's Bria is where the judgment is coming, so how are we going to, How's it going to practicalize? That's not even a word, but how's it going to practically speaking come down into our physical world and have that idea? So we can recognize, I guess what, we can, what we're saying here, we, we should recognize that we can have an impact on our day. Venimtza, Sashneim Emes. So the birth true, the judgment of Hashem and Keeper, and what's going on in the daily judgment that's happening in the Bria. On the base in Shalmaila. The Ikar Adina Alam Shachas Achesed Hu Versus Shana. The main Rim Kippurim. The main judgment of what we're going to have is an Rishon Rim Kippurim. Um, Mekal Makim. And nevertheless, Yesh Din Mishmat Gamer B'Chal Yom. There's a complete judgment every day. So ultimately, we're coming to see that it's both. It's 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 the yearly and the daily. And there's not we can't have one or the other. You need both of them. One of them is not less than the other. Yeah. And yeah, it's very interesting. There's a lot. There's a lot that can can be discussed over here. But in simple terms, I guess when we come to Rosh Hashanah in Yom this year, hopefully we'll have a little bit more of a. We'll remember this because it's in a. It's a good more than six months from now. Yeah, yeah it's about six months till Elul, so maybe Elul will still remember this. But when it comes, when when that time period comes, we realize that we're serious stuff is happening. And there's a big impact for our year. And of course, very important, we don't understand exactly how all this works. It's not like we've got it down to a science. This is happening, but we don't. So you can't come and say, oh, I didn't have a good year, Shannon Kippur. I'm done for. It's going to be a bad year. The Vashem Tov, for example, or the Rabbeim, they were privy to these things and they tapped into these things so they could. And that's why sometimes it's talking about story about the years of the Vashem Tov, like they saw Rosh Hashanah Kippur and he was in a very serious mood and that scared everyone. Because he could see what was going on. Or the Rabbeim would dab him for hours on the night of Rosh Hashanah because crowning Hashem is king and also seeing all these things. They can see things. But we we can't. So we can't, so we shouldn't come and, and, and decide ourselves because, meaning we don't know what we do and what's happening. What, meaning we might have an amazing Rosh Hashanah Kippur in our th- in our thoughts that we think is amazing, and it could be that nothing that year doesn't plan out the way we thought about it. Whereas it could be that our Rosh Hashanah Kippur wasn't the way we thought it was going to be, but the year was an amazing year. Every year should be an amazing year, but we we but we shouldn't come from this and say, oh, okay, I figured it out. I know it's going to be. I know what I need to do. If I just do these things, uh, I'm going to have all the things that I want. It doesn't. We don't know how this all works, but we should know that that's what that that is what happens. Yeah, we'll do the kitzim. Kitzim, kitzvas hachesed, the decree of chesed, the attic that comes from the world of attic, which is what we talked about before. It's above even chachma of of of, of atzilus. Beresh hashanah v'mikipurim einu boy adayin shum tayar minyana el mazen. Which is expressed in Rishon and Kippur, it doesn't have any physical form of it. Gam bilti mechulak beechus the kamos. It's also not divide, divided how much quality and quantity yet. The banachayim mazoni in in the three categories, which which really encompass everything. But al zeh who I didn't. And this is the judgment bechol yom, and that's the daily judgment. Ladas rabbi Yosi bechol shal ladas rabbi nasan. According to rabbi Yosi, 
the daily judgment, according to Rav Nason, the hourly, the moment judgment. And every moment, according to Rav Nason, we're being judged how, what's going to happen, we're going to get it. Again, like we said before, we don't know how this all works. Like we don't, we can't see it, but we should know that that is happening. And that what we do has an impact. And when we wake up in the morning, this is a, the, you know, a sort of a practical take. We wake up in the morning, today's a new day. And just because yesterday we can't, you know, they say, my wife always told me there's a saying in Spanish. I don't know the actual saying, but the, the idea is you make a name for yourself and then you can sit down and relax. You know, I did good. My Shabbos was good. So I can relax now. And it doesn't work that way. What we're saying is every day and every moment has its avoido and has its job. And and that's all that's all we're learning here. And just because we had a good Rosh Hashanah and good Yom Kippur doesn't mean we don't have to do anything anymore. It means every day has its has its mitzvah, has its job. And it doesn't mean every moment I'm sitting there learning something. It means every moment I have to say to myself, what am I meant to be doing now? If it's meant to be eating breakfast, so let me eat breakfast and a healthy breakfast. And let me say a bracha with kavanah. And when I go to work, let me do a good job at work. Let me be a good dugmachaya, make a kiddush Hashem, give some tzedakah. And when it comes time to daven, let me daven with kavanah, turn off my phone. And every moment has its, has its avodah. And we have to realize that that makes a very big impact on how our day is going to play itself out. Mitzvah Hashem, for all of us, we should have an amazing day. We should seize the opportunities that come to us. Have an amazing day.